Then hello friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, let's see how to read a CSV file using Pandas. Okay, so we all know that CSV is a comma separated file, which is one of the most commonly used file uh, in the industry to uh, know to transfer data, and it can handle you know quite a large amount of data as well. Okay, so uh, here in this video, let's see how to read this CSV file using Pandas. Uh, Pandas provides an inbuilt uh, method called read underscore CSV to read the CSV files. This is gonna be a very simple uh, topic. So let's uh, let's uh, see it with an example. Okay. So to start with, first we have to uh, import the Pandas library. So I will start import Pandas <coughs> as pd. So here I am gonna use the Pandas read CSV method. So read underscore CSV method, and I will I need to pass the file. So here I I have already prepared a file called Corona data, so which has the date uh, affected per people per day and deaths per day. So this is a, this is a one of a generic uh, data which shows the details about uh, people affected by Corona on daily basis. So this is a sample CSV file I have and let's see how we can read this CSV file and put it as a data frame. Okay, so this file is currently located in uh, dot <coughs> inside this particular folder. Let's pass let's pass this folder name here. Um so I passed it here and corona data dot csv. and all right okay so let's so i want to print this so i need to put convert this into a data frame right so i'm gonna read the csv in a data frame and finally print it okay now let me run and see yes yeah, so as simple as that now you see I just read that um, uh, CSV file using pandas read underscore CSV method. I have just passed the I have just passed the path of the file. Okay. In, uh, so so uh, this is one of the very easiest way of reading the CSV file using pandas. Okay, so <clears throat> there are a lot of other uh, attributes or parameters which you can use against read CSV method uh, to to you know to simplify or to work with your data i would say okay, so let's see one of the most commonly used uh, methods similar to that so for example here if you see we have uh, indexes starting from zero but uh, in certain situations you need to use some specified columns as indexes right so in that situation let's now here let's try to have data as a index column so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna print the same code here but instead I'm gonna have uh, <coughs> um, uh, index column as data as or index column. So I'm gonna pass a parameter or a value called uh, uh, index underscore call equal to uh, what is the uh, index I need? It would be date, D-A. let me run and see yeah now if you see uh, now the date is taken as index so based on the date in, in the previous example it had uh, 0 to 15 as index now in, when once I added the index column so it took uh, uh, it now considered date as my index column so this is one of the most commonly used uh, attribute I would say um, and you can use this in pandas and pandas start three underscore read underscore csv method similarly um, what else we can we add um, yeah so in case if, if i do not want all these uh, uh, columns okay so for example your csv has like 20 columns but i do not want to use all, all the 20 columns in my data frame is it is really enough for me to add only 5 or 10 columns in that situation we have a specified attribute called uh, <coughs> 
use calls so it will uh, this this uh, attribute will only read the specified uh, columns and uh, use it as a data frame so here i am just planning to use only the date and the affected per day so i i do not want to include dates per day in this example so let me see. i'll just provide these two columns alone here so it will be affected So this now let me run and see the yes, so positional argument we have to provide it within a square bracket. So I provided it here now let me run and see. Yeah, now uh, if you look at the output, um, so uh, we have only date and affected per day in my column. So so if you want to select only specified columns you can use this attribute okay so uh, similarly you we have quite a lot of inbuilt methods um, in real csv um, so um, like um, free is equal to true squeeze equal to true and uh, yeah there are a lot of uh, parameters like this uh, which you can use against read underscore csv method so i will provide the link of in the description of where you can find all those parameters so yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video if you like this video uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you